everyone, my name is Cora and welcome to today's styling vlog. So I don't know if any of you remember this, but a while back I said I was going to Supernova, I asked if you wanted me to vlog it, and I asked if you wanted a styling vlog, and you all said yes to both. And the item that we will be styling today is a very special, very lovely gift that I got from my favorite designer, Christina of Clean the Label. She sent me these pants, these awesome, amazing pants as a thank you for me sending her some of my old junk for her to upcycle. Thank you so much, Christina. Oh, I'll show you the back, like the back pockets. Once again, made out of fabric scraps, very sustainable brand with a very unique um, style. She also released her new collection recently, and if you are a sucker for denim or rainbows, please go check it out because it looks absolutely phenomenal. So for Supernova, I wanted to do a decoric award and I thought I'd take you with me on my styling process like I did for the Harajuku fashion walk. So here are the pants. So there is one piece that I kind of really want to wear with these and it's a piece that I don't turn to wear a ton even though I really like it. It is my rainbow DIY vest that has a lot of really cool patches on both the front and the back. If you want to see what the back looks like, definitely check out my Instagram. But yeah, I feel like this has a very childish um, appeal, like in a good way, obviously. Childish in a good way. Same thing with the these um, pants here. They, I feel like, you know, they radiate a similar vibe, a similar energy, and that's why I think that they'll be really great to pair together. But then there's the matter of what I wear underneath this vest, and to be honest, you're probably going to think I'm a mad woman, considering how hot it is in Australia, but I'm banking on the fact that there will be air conditioning and the fact that I also have tolerance to the Aussie heat. Three layers in the Australian heat! My goodness, she's a mad woman. Oh. Doo -doo -doo. But look, I. Because I know in the last styling vlog, I did the same. Um, grump top with the rainbow top combo and I just really really want to wear this again because I think it goes so great and also the colors I think um match quite nicely especially with the yellow and the yellow and the yellow and then you've also got the blue here and the blue here Although, there doesn't seem to be much matching this green here, but I do happen to have um, a pair of socks that does have that same shade of green. You don't typically want the same colour on top of another colour most of the time, or at least that's not how I like to do it. So let me show you my proposed solution to that problem. You can never really go wrong with odd socks, especially if you're trying to do like a very crazy, kitschy, childish um, decor award. And as you can see, the color here and the color here match pretty perfectly. And, um, but like if I wear this on this side, then you're not necessarily going to have that green on green and but I'll still need a sock for the other foot so why not go with the rainbow that will help tie everything in with the top of the outfit so I guess that means now we move on to shoes and accessories 
I know you see me wear these dirty shoes all the time, but honestly, they're just so comfortable, so versatile. They go with everything, everything. And currently they're the only pair of shoes I have that will go with this look. So I will need to tie in some of the holographic elements when I start bringing in the jewelry and stuff. When you're at a con, you need to have a fairly spacious bag in order to carry your stuff around in, like spare shopping bags, your drink bottle. I'm also gonna have my reusable cup with me. You'll notice I've got like a few badges in there. I might do some kind of temporary arrangement, um, which would be helpful because I plan on doing a Steven Universe Eater bag and one of the things I am going to be looking out for at Supernova is for um, Steven Universe accessories and pins and stuff. So here is where we have a little bit of choice. Obviously, I'm gonna go with the sunnies again because I don't know how to do my makeup and having sunnies helps hide the bags under my eyes. We have this trusty old hat that you would have seen me wear a million times and this trusty old hat that you would have also seen me use in the past styling vlog. The thing is though, I feel like with the peplum and the eater bag, we're sort of going in a slightly more feminine direction than an androgynous one. Plus this outfit's already like really pattern heavy even though I really, really love patterns and I don't think there's such thing as being too pattern heavy. Um, I also think that given like sort of the bulkiness of this and the shoes, um, you need to have something with a bit more volume around your head to help balance it out, which is why I think I'll go with the beret. Okay, so now it's onto the jewelry. And here, is the flat lay look with all of the accessories. It was really difficult trying to put lay them all neatly, the rest of the outfit, especially with all these rings and bracelets. But I think I might take you through some of the details to help you understand some of my styling decisions. First of all, let's start with the beret because, as you know, I don't tend to put hair clips in my hair. I think my hair is a bit too vol voluminous. So usually for my decor looks, I like to try and um, put all my hair clips on the side of my beret um, and I think it looks really cute and you know it's sort of like my own little signature. Over here we've got some gemstones that I'll stick on my face because you know me I like to reuse my craft gems and stick them on my face with eyelash glue instead of throwing them away after one use. Um, and here I couldn't decide between which pair of earrings I wanted, but then I thought, hey, we're wearing odd pant legs, odd socks, why not go for odd earrings? And also, it's not like this vest is very symmetrical either. I'm only going to be wearing about two necklaces, but that's okay because, um, you know, this vest is already so ornamental and so decor alike. And now we're moving on to all these bracelets and rings. I just wanna point out here in particular, so this um, spiky bracelet here, I'm actually borrowing off my sibling who bought this at the suitcase rummage last weekend. And in here, I happen to have like, just, you know those little things that you clip together? Um, yeah, they're sort of designed for kids and it gives like that very kitschy, childish 
theme because it is sort of like a toy. You like clip it together. This is sort of a necklace here that I actually plan on hanging off my trousers around the side as like a sort of little chain. Also, I'm gonna be wearing uh, fingerless gloves and Ooh, I just, I just realized something that I forgot. I should see um, if I can find some hair clips to clip onto my fingerless gloves. Okay, so this is like another one of my signatures. Usually when I wear fingerless gloves, I'll clip something onto them. And I think I clip these hearts on upside down, but that's okay. They'll be the right way up on the day. But yeah, I stole this glittery heart clip from the beret, but the beret has plenty of hair clips already so I'm sure it'll survive and it kind of matches this other sparkly heart hair clip I have so you get like a bit of symmetry there but you know it's still odd whenever you're wearing decor you should always think about creative places to put your hair clips if that makes sense so this is it this is the final look that I will be wearing to Brisbane Supernova 2019. I am so looking forward to it. I'm so looking forward to being able to dress up in J fashion. I don't know. I, it's just so cool. Plus, I don't, I've never done many decor looks with pants before. I'm pretty happy. It looks a little bit of a mess right now, but I can assure you it'll look much better on me on the day and I'm not gonna try this on because I need to be somewhere soon. It means that you'll have to watch my next video to see how this looks on me. So that was my styling vlog. I hope you enjoyed. It's been ages since I've been to a pop culture convention and I need to be around my fellow geeks so badly. That should hopefully be next video. If you don't want to miss it, make sure to subscribe. Thank you to everyone who's subscribed so far, by the way. I feel like getting over 60 subscribers with only five videos, I feel pretty accomplished. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye!